Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. I hope we're doing well today. Um, I've got an exciting one. I've got a beer from Paul Arnold to review this evening. Uh, it's a beer I've not had before. It's a style I've not had before, uh, but it combines two of my favourite styles. It's a combination of a Donkel and a Weiss beer. And it is simply Paul Arnold's Weiss beer Donkel. Let's just admire that can for a moment. That is beautiful. Done in only the way the Germans can. It's got that lovely traditional German sort of beer, traditional art all over it. Lovely dark brown can. Loving that. Um, I picked this can up from Trembling Madness. Uh, I think I paid, it wasn't a lot. I think it was like 3 50 something like that. £3.50 for this can. Um, but yeah, so uh, Paulana famous for their, their vice beer, their Weizen. Um, Weizen's generally uh, wheat heavy um, with hints of toffee and banana and clove. So, you know, spicy, full bodied, um, really glides down the style of beer. Really, very, very refreshing. Quite heavy though. Um, and they've combined it with their Donkel, which is also very, very good. Um, so a Donkel is essentially a dark lager. So uh, using a bit of ale yeast and lager yeast and uh, slightly more roasted malts to give it that darker, more sort of caramel, um, toffee, sort of stronger flavours. Um, and they've combined them in a Weizen. So I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued to see what it's going to be like. It's coming in at, is it 5.2? Five, 5.3. 5.3% 5 .3 ABV. It says it on the back. 5.3% ABV. There's loads of different languages on this can. This is obviously one that's distributed quite widely but it's the first time i've come across it i spotted it on the trembling madness website a couple of weeks back now and it was in their new newly added recently added range um so i'm looking forward to it big 500 mil can which is a bonus so i'm hoping paul Arna have combined their two styles because it's a vice beer i'm going to put it into a vice beer glass i'm going to slightly have rinsed out the glass you might see a few little specks of water on it just rinsed I'm going to pour it into my Weizen glass. And it's certainly behaving like a Weizen. It's developing quite a head on it already. But I should get that all in there. And it gives the can a little bit of a wriggle. Anything that might be sticking to the side of it. Get that in there. There was. Lovely, look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, boy. That looks rather, <laughs> rather inviting. Um, so yeah, it does. It looks like a dark visor, doesn't it? It's not completely jet black at all. It's got a very coppery brown colour to it, a bit of orange to it as well. It does. It looks like a, a Donkor meets a visor. It really does. It's developed a full on three finger, just off white, creamy, foamy looking head. That looks a picture, doesn't it? That looks great. That really looks good. Um, I'm going to stick my snout in, see if I can get an aroma through that rather thick head. Ooh. Ooh, very nice. Fruity wholemeal bread. Hints of spice. Touch of orange peel. Yeah, get me, get me bearings. It's like saurine, fruity malt loaf, brown bread, honey, spice, coriander, bit of orange, bit of citrus. It smells complex as hell. Should we get stuck in? Cheers. Oh, that's really rather nice. <laughs> that's lovely. And it's got a really prolonged coriander, citrusy finish. 
the Vizen, the Vizen characteristics uh, leave uh, the lingering flavour to this beer. But up front was the Donkel side of it, was the kind of caramelly, bready. Caramelly, toffee, brown bread, honey. And then there's like a clovey, slightly spicy coriander feel coming up. And then it's citrus, it's orange. Oh, that's delicious. That's really good. Um, so yeah, a dark lager mixed with a bison. It's a style that It's a style that I I, would, I wasn't sure I'd ever I'd ever come across. It wasn't something that straight away pops out of my brain and said, "Yeah, that would work." Essentially, a lager mixed with a Weizen. So is that like a heifer Weizen? Isn't it? Is that, is that what that is? Oh, I love that a caramelized orange peel. That spice. And that lovely brown bready flavour. Oh, this is gorgeous. It really is good. Um, that that spice and brown bread flavour now is coming through a little bit more. I feel like the donkle side of the beer is just starting to become a little bit more prominent. And this first couple of mouthfuls, this was this was a caramelly vison. It was kind of um, anger. Ainga do one of my favourite vice beers, their Ur Vice. It's very banoffee. It's very banana and toffee. I'm not getting much in the way of banana now, now I've mentioned it. I'm not getting much in the way of the banana on this one, but I'm certainly getting like spice, citrus, toffee, caramel. And that's that's where the donkel side of it comes in. It is complex. It's delicious. It's got a lovely mouthfeel to it. It really coats the palate. Really, it, it, oh, it's, it's bloody good. <laughs> it's bloody good. And, you know, sometimes I waffle when I say all these different descriptives and I try and explain to you what I'm tasting. And sometimes you just need to shut up and just say, that you know what, this is a bloody good beer. It's a bloody good beer. They've mixed two very German styles of beer together and made an exquisite German beer. It's another belter. Easy drinking, not as heavy as a standard vice beer. It's slightly more drinkable. It has got that dunkel, that lager side to it. It makes it quite drinkable, but the complexity and flavours is absolutely wonderful. And you are left with definitely a slightly malt loaf, brown bread, touch of dark fruit, a bit of citrus, a bit of spice. It's lovely. It's a really, really good beer. I'm well impressed. Uh, I'm going to finish the last bit of that in peace. Um, that's a stunning beer. That really is lovely. Paul Lana with their Vice Beer Donkel, 5.3%. You can get down Trembling Madness. Pff, well recommended. It's a lovely beer. I've got no qualms with that. That's a 10 out of 10 for what it's worth from me. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed the review. Give it a thumbs up if you have. I do appreciate it. Till my next one, you take care.